Number wise, I would personally say around 80,000. My perfect salary would probably have to be $100,000. My perfect salary would be $350,000. My perfect salary will be two hundred thousand dollars a year. 谈起理想薪水，每个人的数字可能差了十万八千里。但根据拿下诺贝尔经济学奖的心理学家康纳曼，在二零一零年的研究，却是有一个符合普世价值的数字。专家认为，年收入只要超过七点五万美元，也就是大约两百二十五万台币，带来的幸福感其实都是大同小异。When people hear that seventy-five thousand dollar number, they're like, "Well, is that really true?" You know, should it be adjusted for 2020 inflation, or if I live in San Francisco or New York versus like Iowa or something? But the research really suggests that it might tweak around a little the new number, but it's not going to be that different. It's not going to suddenly turn into two million dollars that you need to be happier. 专家坦诚，没有钱确实万万不能，但薪水会因为好还要更好的心理，导致不论多高都会觉得实在不够用。I'm reminded of a study. That asks people, how much more money do you need to be a lot happier? And no matter how much people made, they always named a number that was a little higher than what they had. And so, it just made me realize that we're just always wanting more, and we would never really be satisfied with a particular number, even if we thought we did. 多年来研究幸福心理的耶鲁大学专家甚至直言，过高的薪水反而会成为牢笼，让人离幸福快乐总是有一段距离。In fact, there's a lot of folks. Who experience what's called golden handcuffs? In other words, they're trapped in this job that's paying them a lot of money, but that they absolutely hate it. But now that they're at a salary level where they're earning, you know, five hundred thousand dollars a year, it's really hard to shift, right? Because you bought a more expensive house, you bought a more expensive car, and so on. What the research shows is that if you really want to be happy with your job, you shouldn't focus on salary. You should focus on whether the job is meeting what what we often call your own signature strengths. 而且专家强调，所谓高处不胜寒，并不是吃不到。葡萄说葡萄酸。根据研究显示，金字塔顶端的人群往往会觉得孤独。One of the reasons having a lot of money doesn't make us happy is that being really rich tends to be incredibly challenging for your social relationships, and that can create enormous stresses where the people who don't have the money feel shamed, the people who do have the money feel kind of icky about it. You know, how do you split the check and so on? And these kinds of stresses sound, you know, like you could kind of make fun of them, like, oh, I would, you know, there are stresses that I would love to have. I'd love to be a bazillionaire, and you know. Deal with the stresses of how my family would react to that, but in practice, if you look at the rich people, they often feel incredibly isolated and incredibly lonely. 信用卡支付处理公司的执行长普莱斯也曾经年收入超过百万美元，但在二零一五年，他自愿缩减九成的薪资，让公司员工的薪水至少七万美元起跳，自己改领最低薪资。不但公司的业绩三倍翻涨，普莱斯说自己也比以前更开心。Instead of taking a helicopter up to all the people. Peaks of Alaska and snowboarding down. I have to climb up, and it takes me two or three days before what took me like a half hour to do. But it's still pr pretty darn cool to be able to climb the mountain in Alaska, which I can do on seventy thousand dollars a year. 专家强调，不要把薪资跟成功画上等号，也是创造理想薪水的重要观念。We do have this fantasy that more money, more and more success and more things will give us that ultimate sense of happiness. 比起薪水的高低，怎么花手上的钱才是掌握幸福感的关键。专家建议，用金钱创造各种像是旅游、社交等等，能带来快乐以及幸福的体验，而不是陷入社交网站的攀比陷阱，才能让薪水创造更大的价值，让每份收入真正成为完美的薪水。TVB 新闻综合报道。